In this world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I've overcome the world. Jesus' words in John 16. When we feel like everyone's left us and, and God doesn't hear our prayers at the end of Matthew 28, and surely I'm with you always to the very end of the age. When everything's going crazy, we stop and we sit down and we are reminded to be still and know that God is God. Psalm 46, 10. Do we have these verses memorized in our hearts? To help myself. I need these scriptures memorized. I need to be, I need to be reminded of God's truth. That life's going to be challenging. But Jesus is right there with us. That God will walk with us through these hard times. And we need to be reminded and we need to know this. Not okay, if you want to memorize the whole thing, by all means, go for it. That that is that's a that's a feat. Um, that's a that's quite the accomplishment. Uh, but I don't know about your memory. Mine's kind of faulty. And so I'm going to do the best I can. And, and I'm going to memorize as, as much as I can. And I'm going to memorize stuff that's going to be very applicable, uh, applies to my life, and encourages those around me. If someone comes up to me and says, man, I just need something from the, from the Lord. I need, I need something from the Bible that would just encourage me right now. I'm just stressed out. I need something to be lifting, lifting me up right now. Would you be able to answer them? Or would you have to Google it real quick? Oh, let me hold on, hold on. Get my smartphone out and type it in and, and see if I can find something to encourage you. Or would you be able to, off the cuff, have a handful of Bible verses memorized to encourage someone, to encourage your own heart? What if someone came up to you and asked, I, I want to become a Christian. What do I need to do? Would you be able to respond to them and lead them in the gospel? Going from verse to verse, or would you have to call call your local pastor? Hold on, I got to phone a pastor real quick and and ask him to to step in on this one. Would you be able to do that? Have you hidden scripture in your heart? Psalm one nineteen. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you, against God. Have we put put God's word in our heart to help us live a holy, God honoring life? See, I pray that during this time of home home quarantine, home home lockup, um, that we would use use this extra time to, to increase in the spiritual discipline of memorizing Scripture, of hiding God's Word in our heart. And that we make the most of these opportunities that we have to memorize Scripture. And maybe you as a family, maybe you guys can do this together. Maybe this is a good one. This is one I'd encourage you to do. Maybe you go to Philippians chapter 4, chapter 4, verse 4, and, and you, you work on a couple of these verses here. These, these are important. These are I think these are really uh, relevant to today's life and what we're living and going through now. They're relevant all the time. They're really good. Philippians 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I'll say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understandings, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Now, if you notice, I had to read that because I haven't memorized it yet. But that's the challenge. Let's get into God's Word. Listen to this. Rejoice in the Lord always, only when it's good. No, it says rejoice in the Lord all the time. Always rejoice in the Lord. Your gentleness be evident to all. I see a lot of, um, a lot of hostility. Maybe we need to put this gentleness in. Don't be anxious, but pray incredibly relevant to today and the peace that only God can give it's going to guard my heart that that's okay Philippians 4 4 5 6 and 7 we need to be um, people of the book people who studies God's word study God's word and put that in our heart to encourage our lives and then we can in turn encourage those around us so I pray, I encourage you, uh, the next couple of mic checks here, we're going to be talking about doing some spiritual disciplines. Last one we talked about listening to uh, God honoring music. And so today I want to encourage you with that, to hide God's word in your heart for its many different applications and purposes. So let's get, well, memorizing scripture is hard, but yeah, but the, the hardest things in life are usually the most important. And the ones that at the end of the day, we look back and we go, I'm really glad I did that. So go for it. Philippians 4, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Let me know how far you've gotten.
Make it a great week in the Lord.